I won two awards. Mm-hmm. One down in uh, um, at the Margate Film Festival in Jersey, mm-hmm. first year fest. Um, they gave me the Lifesaver Award, which was uh, literally a life preserver with my name written on it. Like a like one of those big like like white flotation things? device. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I can just bring that on a plane. So if people are like your flo- your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device, I'm like, like right. fuck you. I have my yeah. own, <clears throat> and it's I've- got my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> so if any of you fucking pricks try to take it, yeah. I'll know. Guess what? It's not going to take a detective to know that you don't belong to that life preserver or vice versa because my name's on Unless you scratch my name off. Are you like standing up? <laughs> in front of the, the, the stewardess is about to give her fucking announcements about seatbelts. And she, I'm like, excuse me, may I take the floor for a moment? And I threaten everybody. And then I sit back down. And you Did you taser? <laughs> no doubt. If I'm Paul Bunyan and I'm literally just like, I'll never fuck a woman. Ever. He could. If I mean, you're Paul Bunyan, you gotta. Huge. But if you're Paul Bunyan, you gotta believe there is a Paulette Bunyan out there somewhere. somewhere. Well, and I mean, she like, may be your sister, but she's the only person you're gonna be allowed to fuck. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, but you know, based on the entrance of this park, there's fucking Paul Bunyan and a big ox. <laughs> so it's like there was no giant girl, All right? Like somewhere off in the world. So like, if you were Paul Bunyan and you literally were just like, okay, the only other creature with a moist hole my size is this ox. Would I fuck it then? Knowing that you were literally like, that would be as know, close man. as you'd ever get you know. to pussy. I don't know, because I was a teenager once, and it was not like pussy was in high abundance. And I never once looked at the cat and was like, I'm going to get me a piece yeah, of that. Yeah, but because you like were deve- cause you knew that like as you developed through the years, you were like, it becomes available to you. Oh, well, maybe that's what Paul's feeling. Like, no, maybe he's Paul not. Feels he's like that, 16 like, years old. He's like, well, but you're his describing, hand is the size of a woman. You're describing a situation <laughs> well, where... Um, there's a. He probably makes his hands a little dresses. When he talks. <laughs> He's like, "Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary Paul. Thumb. How are your f- four fingers, four sisters?" <laughs> He's like, "Why do I bother? I'm just gonna totally jerk it." Hey, I would imagine if you were Paul Bunyan too, you could probably uh, enslave a town, <laughs> like <laughs> and then sew make- me together, a giant woman. <laughs> <laughs> like basically, handpick. You know, skin, the most delicate, <laughs> lush, uh, smoothest skins of the women in town. Or, or men at that point, because yeah. you're just going to create a human quilt. <laughs> <laughs> Your size <laughs> to bury your seed in. And then, you know, as olden days, they stuff it with, like, leaves or yeah. or whatever. Maybe not le- goose down. <laughs> or perhaps... Gelatins of sorts. I'm sure they had jello back But you then. don't think that they were like beyond like enslaving a town, skinning all the people. <laughs> you wouldn't just look, get drunk one night and like go nail your ox. Do you think the people in that town. <laughs> I wouldn't move. <laughs> <laughs> but you're enslaved. You can't. You okay. captured the whole town. Do you think the people of that town are like on any level? Like, <laughs> well. <laughs> you mean a silver line? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Well, at least he's gonna get laid. Like you know, <laughs> at least we're kinda, contributing, yeah, to the sexual gratification of a giant <laughs> lumberjack who may very well have been like, you know, that everyone would be in the town going like, why does he just fuck the ox? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would. I would be like, look, if this is to be my lot in life. Where I'm sewing together former townmates of my <laughs> neighbors. <laughs> um... You know, I'd be like, well, at least we probably... He's finally going to get laid, which means he won't do this to some other town. So you would essentially be Unless the tailor. Unless he wants variety. I'd be, well, I mean, I would assume the whole town is put to work on, because first you have to slice a human open, gut them, well, the spread out their fucking the tailors skin. Would that's be what you would want to be. But I think, I think everyone would be forced to become a tailor. But somebody has stuff. to be skinned alive. <laughs> They're going <laughs> to die at that point. Well, but the average town, you're thinking, what, 1,000 people? Yeah, okay, small. I mean, that's, you know. I would say even if, I would say you don't even need half of 500 people to make, you know, a human, uh, a blow-up doll, essentially. Human blow-up doll. That's a lot of people. Is it? Well, when you think about, like. is not, by the way, that fucking. I I mean, the one in the, the one in the, in the park was like, he was tall. He was like 30 feet high. Okay, but that might just, well, that's because it's a statue. 
So the like in honor of Paul Bunyan, we got to put up an even bigger statue than he really was. What's the legend? He was like seven foot tall. He's like Shaq and shit. Yeah, I thought the legend was like he could have played pro ball, but he had a bum <laughs> knee, yeah. so he became a lumberjack instead. He had a fucking ox that was like blue. A, in the moonlight reflected blue, and then it just became a tall, tall tale and shit. He's a baller. He wanted to be a baller. <laughs> and he lost his opportunity. But to how do big so. was he? Was he like? I think he was about. He was like six eight. Oh, okay. Well, like then he could know. have sex. I was thinking that he was like a giant. There's people in the NBA that are like. I think Shaq's like seven one, isn't he? Yeah. Does he have an ox? I don't think he needs an ox. <laughs> <laughs> he gets laid. Paul Bunyan must have been way bigger than seven feet. I thought Paul Bunyan was like abnormally large on a like. Well, you, that a, story did get exaggerated. You know that. There's no such thing as giants. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that. Okay. Uh, uh, but he's bigger than Hagrid in the books. Yeah, I mean, I... Or depicted in the movies. Yeah, yeah. Remember that one movie? But what, Hagrid's like cup, a half, about half giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's half giant and he falls for that chick from the fucking girl school. Yeah, Fleur, it was like Fleur, another Fleur, half Fleur, giant. What was the name of that school? Uh, I don't remember. Come on. I don't remember. I remember Fleur. Fleur now I want to say Fleur. Fleur. She's one yeah. of the whatever. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. But he falls the for French the school. Head, yeah, the headmistress. And, and they're like, like a half giant, freakish giant. That's why I was like, "Oh my half giant, you're half giant." Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and he's like, oh, "I'm the right height." And she's like, "What does that mean?" He's like, "Look," and he fucking buries himself <laughs> face first in her puss, oh. and his hair beard gets tangled with her pubes and, and then they're tied together yeah and they're like please professor dumbledore <laughs> split us apart it's use a spell <laughs> use the disentanglement spell <laughs> <laughs> disentangliano it didn't work <laughs> he's still in me cunt I gotta take a wee. <laughs> I don't want him to see me taking a wee. The relationship will be over. It's too soon, Professor Dumbledore. <laughs> He's like, he can hear you. <laughs> it's like, there's a lot of shit going on right now. <laughs> this is really uncomfortable yeah, this for me. Is not what. Uh, not the. Not for the. Guess what? You find out later on, I'm gay. So this yeah. is even weirder. I'm. I'm seeing Hagrid naked. <laughs> <laughs> there must be Harry Potter slash fiction out there, right? What? Slash fiction. That's the stuff where it's like, and then, you know, Kirk and Spock finally kissed and the fucking sucked each other's balls. You never heard of this phenomenon? No, no, no. Where people, there's, if people write sex fiction and then about just... their favorite characters. Oh, yeah. Shit. Like, there have been Jay and Silent Bob slash fiction stories. So people write like, and then Jay sucked. Yes. Silent Bob's dick. Totally. So I, if there's Jay and Silent Bob slash, I guarantee you there's, there's some sexy Hermione oh, set. Yes. Now, would you read it if it was written as well as... Like J.K. Rowling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, if, in J.K. J. K. <laughs> Rowling's voice, but just fucking filthy. Just like... And then, you know, on their wedding night, Ron um, revealed himself to be something of a... Um, Horse... <laughs> No, of an ass eater. Uh, and he, fu- he told Hermione he wouldn't fuck her unless she let him eat her ass for like an hour. <laughs> I mean, I don't... So far, I don't know. That's like, <laughs> I don't know if J.K. Rowley would be like, yeah, and that's Hermione, wrong. Bet. Hermione was like perturbed because she's like, I'm, I don't know about that, Ron. He's got like a tattoo of a butt. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's like, look, I'm a butt eater. <laughs> they see a fucking giant thing in the air. They're like, is that a death eater? It's like... No, it's Ron's ass eater. <laughs> oh, Weasley's up to it again. Weasley's buried in the fucking pooper. Every time they fuck, there's like a giant thing <laughs> hanging above their house. <sighs> that would be awesome. And met Zack Snyder. Mm-hmm. And who had been, we'd been kind of playing phone tag prior to that because I'd written something about Watchmen or we talked about it too in one of the smods. Yeah. And I guess he got back to him, yeah, about the trailer. And um, so I guess he, he was trying to hit me up before Con, and I was calling him, and then he was calling me, and I was at the space sign and back and forth. So I finally met him down there, and then after the panel, mm-hmm. well, before the panel even started, he's like, I was calling you because I wanted you to come watch the movie, and I was like, <laughs> He was like, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Freak. I changed, changed punched my mind. You. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, man, I was just doing my best Michael Winslow from fucking Police Academy. <laughs> 
right? He hit you again. Yeah, like, I don't know. Look, I hate him too. Um, no, he he was like, "Come see the flick," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so me and Moj went to see the flick. <laughs> Moj and you did, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Well, I'm telling them. Oh, okay. Because um, we know somebody who works on it too, Andrea. Worth on. But was, usually you talk to me. That's why in that moment you kind of weirded me. I out. took it to the cr- took, <laughs> it, to took the it to the crowd and crowd. shit. And I was like, never mind. Let me tell you some Mosier stories. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that Mosier. Scott Mosier. You know Scott Mosier. And you're like, I'm right here. Um, yeah, we did. We got to go see it.